Hey folks, if you're looking for a little bit of help uh, trying to get your WordPress or your blogger blog set up, here is a quick way for you to reference this. So basically what you're looking for is things um, to populate a sidebar if you're trying to follow the assignment instructions. So I'm looking at my WordPress dashboard right now. I'll show you uh, what it looks like in Blogger too. But here's my WordPress dashboard. Um, what we're looking for is we're looking for widgets. And widgets allow you to do those clever, interesting things within WordPress on the sidebar. So here's my, one of my blogs. This is my mattherr.wordpress.com blog. And I can see right now that I have three things that are going to show up in my sidebar. And if I want to place more things in my sidebar, uh, let's say if I want to put a calendar over there. well. I'll click, hold, and drag the calendar up here, put it in the spot that I want it to appear in, and I'll stick it in there. My calendar. In the case of, of making links for your documents, um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. I placed the links widget into my sidebar, and inside my links, it's going to display all of the links that are shown over here on the left hand side. So if I look at all of my links, here are the links that I have within my WordPress um, dashboard. So here's one that I've chosen to to display from Google Drive. So I just add those, add a link here, I'll give it a name, I'll resume, and I'll post the and I'll actually post the URL in here. So whatever that would be. Um, and I'm getting that from WordPress. And once I do that, if I go back and I look at the, these are the links that are going to show up there. So these links relate to the links that I have in my dashboard. So if I click on the link to a Google Drive document, it brings up whatever document I've linked it to within Google Drive and I've done that through the sharing section here. In Blogger, okay, so it's real similar in Blogger. A little bit more difficult, but this is my dashboard in Blogger. And most templates within Blogger do support sidebars, okay? Most of these have two columns, basically, because that's what you're looking for. Once, once you've verified that you have space on the left or the right for that sort of stuff, click on the layout and in the layout section this is where you can choose to add a gadget these are the gadgets that Google gives you and in some ways really what you're looking for is the same sort of stuff you either a link list so you can click on that one or you could come up here and you could choose to do it in straight HTML or JavaScript you could choose to have it as a page a list of standalone pages that you already have on your um, have uploaded into your blog. So there's a few different ways you can do it. And once you you know select that, this it shows up over here, and then I can move these around much like WordPress. And so I've got a few different things that I've placed here. If I go to look at my blog, you can see over here on the right hand side, it's not organized very well, but you can see that they're all there. So I have a resume section and then there is a my resume. If I click on that, it takes me to a page within Blogger that I've, I've uh, provided you with a bunch of links for. If I click on the other one, it's going to take me to the same page as well. So I can place it in different spots. I've got a couple more down here at the bottom. If I click on that one, or that one it looks like they're going to um, do slightly different things. That one's going to take me directly out to that that shared document that I have. Okay, so that's basically how to get links out there on your pages. There's a lot of other ways to do it. If you did a YouTube search for adding widgets or adding gadgets or um, gadgets in a sidebar or widgets in a sidebar, you're going to be able to get a lot more information. But though knowing those key words is really what's going to make you successful. So if you don't know what the words are, the terms are, 
that's what's going to be the problem. So I'll leave it at that. Take a look at this. Um, give it another try though for some of you that were having some trouble and I'd like for you to take a little bit more time with this. I think there's some value in knowing how to how to operate a blog like this. All right, thanks. You guys are doing great.